It was a chilly autumn evening when Rachel moved into her new apartment in the heart of the city. The building was old, with creaky floors and walls that seemed to hold secrets of years past. Rachel wasn't superstitious, she brushed off the idea of ghosts or hauntings. But little did she know, something far more sinister lurked within those aged walls. Her neighbors seemed friendly enough, though she couldn't shake the feeling of being watched whenever she entered or exited her apartment. She attributed it to paranoia, a side effect of living alone in a new place. The first few nights were uneventful. Rachel busied herself with unpacking, arranging her belongings, and settling into her new routine. However, on the fourth night, things took a strange turn. She was awakened by a faint sound coming from the wall beside her bed. At first, she dismissed it as the building settling or the wind outside. But as she lay there in the darkness, the noise persisted, growing louder and more distinct. It sounded like scratching, rhythmic and deliberate. Heart pounding, Rachel sat up in bed, straining to listen. The scratching seemed to be coming from the apartment next door. She hesitated, debating whether to investigate or ignore it. Curiosity got the better of her, and she reluctantly slipped out of bed, padding silently toward the wall. Placing her ear against the cold surface, she listened intently. The scratching was unmistakable now, accompanied by faint whispers that sent shivers down her spine. It was as though someone, or something, was moving around on the other side. Fearful and uncertain of what to do, Rachel retreated to her bed, pulling the covers tightly around her. Sleep eluded her that night as the scratching continued, echoing through the darkness. The next morning, Rachel tried to dismiss the incident as a figment of her imagination. She reasoned that the old building was bound to have its quirks and noises. Yet, a sense of unease lingered as she went about her day. That evening, as darkness descended once more, the scratching returned. This time, it was accompanied by a low, guttural growl that made Rachel's blood run cold. Paralyzed with fear, she lay in bed, unable to move or call for help. Minutes stretched into hours as the scratching and growling persisted, tormenting her throughout the night. It wasn't until the first light of dawn crept through her window that the noises finally ceased, leaving Rachel shaken and exhausted. Determined to uncover the source of the disturbance, Rachel decided to confront her neighbor the following day. She knocked on the door of the apartment next to hers, but there was no answer. Puzzled, she tried again later in the day with the same result. Growing increasingly desperate, Rachel sought out the building's landlord, hoping for answers. But to her dismay, the landlord brushed off her concerns, attributing the noises to the building's age and dismissing any notion of foul play. Frustrated and frightened, Rachel returned to her apartment, feeling more isolated than ever. She couldn't shake the feeling that something sinister was lurking just beyond her walls. As the days passed, the scratching and growling became more frequent, invading Rachel's thoughts even during the daylight hours. Sleep became a distant memory as she spiraled deeper into paranoia and fear. One night, unable to bear the torment any longer, Rachel made a decision. Armed with a flashlight and a sense of dread, she ventured into the building's basement, determined to uncover the truth. The basement was dimly lit, casting long shadows across the concrete floor. Rachel's footsteps echoed eerily as she made her way through the maze of pipes and storage units. The air was thick with the smell of dampness and decay, adding to her sense of unease. Finally, she came upon a door tucked away in a dark corner of the basement. It was old and rusted, with a heavy padlock securing it shut. Heart pounding, Rachel fumbled for her keys, praying that one of them would fit the lock. After what felt like an eternity, she found the right key and unlocked the door. With trembling hands, she pushed it open, revealing a small, cramped space beyond. What she saw next would haunt her nightmares for years to come. Huddled in the corner of the room was a creature unlike anything she had ever seen. Its eyes glowed with a malevolent light as it snarled and hissed, baring its razor-sharp teeth. Its emaciated form was covered in matted fur, and its claws scraped against the concrete floor in a relentless rhythm. Rachel recoiled in horror, realizing with sickening clarity that this creature was the source of the scratching and growling that had plagued her nights. But as she turned to flee, she heard a voice behind her, the voice of her neighbor. You shouldn't have come down here, 
he whispered, his eyes gleaming with madness. With a surge of terror, Rachel bolted from the basement, slamming the door shut behind her. She didn't stop running until she was safely outside, gasping for breath in the cool night air. From that day on, Rachel lived in constant fear, knowing that the creature lurked just beneath her feet, waiting to strike. And though she tried to convince herself it was all a nightmare, she could never shake the feeling that the horrors of the basement were all too real.